Hello everyone, welcome to Hypertis training video on SSO. During the last 6 months, COVID-19 has dramatically impacted enterprises across every industry. The pandemic has adversely affected organization from customer service, sales volume, business spending to cash flows and their ability to manage their business. To survive this crisis, enterprises have adapted to new norm where everything is digital. As per McKinsey, remote working is at an all-time high across the world. This is likely to be a trend for a while. The share of employees working remotely has increased drastically in IT sector and shows a swift in other sectors like professional services, manufacturing and education. CEOs across the tech world agree that companies will have to become digital at the core. To become digital at the core or digital first, there are four main drivers to successfully operate remotely, to protect against the increasing in cyber criminals exploiting the current situation, to increase operational efficiency, control costs, to protect or salvage revenue. While going digital offers many benefits, there are challenges as well. For example, employees spend over 10 hours yearly managing passwords. As per Gartner, over 50% of held desk calls deal with password related issues. Organizations spend time and money fixing password problems, up to $70 per fix. Do you and your organization spend a lot of time on password management? SSO technology helps. SSO is an authentication schema that allows a user to log in with a single ID and password to any of the several systems yet independent software systems. Leading companies across the world use SSO, brands such as Adobe, HP and FedEx have implemented the solution, improving customer service and reducing IT cost services. Now that you have a brief understanding of what is SSO, let us dive into the framework that is the basis of SSO. SSO is a part of IAM, that is Identity and Access Management, which is a framework that allows the organization to manage their processes, policies and technologies. It is also helpful to streamline roles and access privileges of users. An IAM framework is divided into four major areas. Authentication is the area through which users provide credential to gain access to an application or resource. Authorization determines whether a user is allowed to access a particular resource. User management allows the IT managers to define admin functions. These can be creation, propagation and maintenance of user identity and access. Central user repository stores, verifies and delivers identity information. It is a database of credential and presents an aggregate view of identity to the organization. IAM access and border umbrella under which three main solution stack lies. Privilege access management PAM used to secure, authorize, and monitor privileged users with access to sensitive accounts. Single sign-on SSO allows business to provide access to multiple applications with one set of credentials, that is username and password, per session. And lastly, a password manager is used by organization to ensure that their have users have strong password for all accounts. The main difference between SSO and password manager is that Password Manager works with all user accounts including cloud apps and it is not session based. Now, there must be a confusion as to what should your organization be using. If your organization is large with complex organizational structure and higher security requirements, a PAM solution would be the best bet. Some examples of enterprises who have opted to PAM solution are State of Michigan, University of Miami, Rockwell Automation. If your organization needs to access a specific set of cloud application or a dispersed range of users, an SSO solution is the way to go. Lastly, if your organization operates on a tight budget but still needs security, a password manager is the best option. Of all IAM tools, SSO occupies a sweet spot. It is not too complex such as spam and not too simplistic as password manager. Hence. SSO is a great option for organizations. Let us see some of the applications that make use of this technology. Popular apps such as Instagram, Spotify and Pinterest 
all use SSO. When they allow you to log in with the other social media platforms such as Facebook. How does SSO work? SSO can work in two ways. First, when the credentials are not saved in the browser cookies. For example, when users log in into Instagram, they can either log in with their credentials or by Facebook. If they choose Facebook, they are redirected to its authorization page. Here, the Facebook credentials are saved in the browser cookies for the first time. Then, SSO uses this credential and redirects the user to Instagram. The Instagram login is now safe for future use in Instagram cookies. The second way that SSO works is when credentials are saved in the browser cookies. For example, say users log in into Spotify. Now, they can either use their credential or by Facebook. If they choose Facebook, they are again redirected to its authorization page. In this case, since the user have already saved their credential for the first time, they will be automatically authorized. SSO will then use the credential and redirect the users to Spotify. The Spotify login will be saved for future use in Spotify cookies. Let us now discuss about the pros and cons of SSO. The benefits of SSO are that there is a single username and password for multiple applications, which streamlines access. In addition, since there is a single set of credentials to be remembered and managed, user fatigue is less and IT help desk workload is reduced. On the other hand, since there is a single gateway to multiple applications, it is easier for attackers to hack an SSO system, also increasing the subsequent downtime. Since SSO has to integrate with multiple applications, the setup time is higher due to compatibility and availability of requirements. Now, let us look into the challenges faced during the implementation of an SSO. Identity spawn. In certain cases, some applications can be accessed by users outside the deployed SSO solution. This makes SSO implementation a challenge as the committed security levels will be affected on account of what is popularly referred as identity sprawl. Lack of visibility. In large organizations, IT admins may not be aware of all the business applications that a user may be accessing. This makes SSO deployment challenging as these applications will be excluded from the SSO deployment affecting the security policy document defined for that deployment. Incompatible technology. Certain existing technologies on account of obsolescence and certain technologies that are upcoming may be unable to integrate with the SSO solution. Scalability Another challenge is that the scale of business grows. SSO solutions may not be able to support the increase in users as well as the complexity in the case of organization grows exponentially. Hope you like this video on the introduction to SSO. In case you would like to know more about this topic, we have put together a small checklist for you, which can be accessed at the link in description below. Please do like, subscribe or comment if you like this video. Thank you.